Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing really well. So today we will be designing a distillation column in Aspen Plus. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Open Aspen Plus environment. Click on new. Then select blank simulation. Create. Now we will add components. The first component is propane. Click on find now. Click on add selected compounds. The next component is isobutane. Again, we'll add this. Now click on close. We'll move to the next part, which is specifying the property method. So from here, we'll select Chow Cedar Correlation, click on Next, Run Property Analysis, OK. So this is completed. We can now move to the simulation environment. Go to Columns. Now we'll add this. OK. Now we will add Pressure Changers, which is a valve. So we'll add three valves and two pumps we'll add. Now we will add the material stream. Now we will rename all the blocks. Rename this as D1. The bottom product, we'll rename it as B1. And yeah, all this is fine now. We will go to setup. Go to report options. Now we will select mole in fraction basis column because it is very it is very useful in uh, distillation problems usually it is not given but uh, we will require mole fractions now we will close this and now we will enter the stream properties so the temperature is 322 kelvin pressure is 20 atmosphere molar flow rate is 1 and mole fraction is 0.4 for propane and 0.6 for isobutane so this is done we will go back to the simulation sheet and now we'll enter the parameters of column 1. So the rigorous way of selecting number of stages is to perform an economic optimization. But for now, let us consider that there are 32 stages. Condenser will be total condenser and the distillate rate we are selecting here is 0.4. And the reflux ratio, let us consider it as 2. Because this isobutane and propane are not too difficult and not too easy to separate. So the guest value can be 2. Just change kilomole per hour to kilomole per second. Yeah. So this portion is done. Now we will move forward. 
under streams tab we will define the num feed stage which is 16 now go to the pressure tab the condenser pressure is 14 atmosphere and pressure drop is 0 0.0068 atmosphere okay so this is done okay so all the parameters of column 1 are completed now we will go to pump 1 so the pressure increase here is 6 atmosphere now pump 2 select pressure increase this is also 6 atmosphere okay now we have to enter the specifications of valve 1 so we don't know what the outlet pressure is so the exit pressure of valve 1 should be equal to the pressure of the feed tray which is tray number 16 for now we don't know so we are guessing it as 14.2 atmosphere and please note that the flash options here the valid phases should be liquid only so we are done with this and before moving forward i just wanted to let you know that we will adjust this outlet pressure once the flow sheet is converged now we will specify parameters of valve 2 and 3 so the pressure drop here is 3 atmosphere again this is liquid only this is done let us go to valve 3 select pressure drop 3 atmosphere select liquid only in the valid phase so this is done now we will run the simulation so as you can see that it took four uh, iterations to converge the flow sheet let us look at the results now now we will go to the stream results so this is what we got as distillate and bottom products so we want it to be more uh, fine separation so we'll change the reflux ratio and let us see what results we get so here we'll change the reflux ratio to 3 and let's run so yeah as you can see that propane is 0 0.97 in the distillate and isobutane is 0 0.98 in the iso um, bottom product so we want to find the values of distillate flow rate and reflux ratio that drive the distillate composition to 2 mole percent isobutane and 1 mole percent isopropane in the bottom so there can be two issues that might arise one that is you may not find solution to non-algebraic equations the another one is there may be one or two solutions or multiple solutions to equations Sometimes the program might converge to one solution and if you run it on again, it might converge to another solution. So it is advised to start by converging only one variable at a time instead of trying multiple uh, variables. So in our example, we will converge the distillate specification first by adjusting the distillate flow rate. Then we will converge the bottom specification by adjusting the reflux ratio hope this is clear to you so let us move to the design specification portion of this problem so under c1 block and under specification click on design specification click on new so the type is mole purity target is 0.02 so this is the desired mole fraction of isobutane in the in the distillate now we will go to components We'll select isobutane and 
yeah now under feed slash product streams we will select d1 because in distillate we want isobutane as 0.02 this is done so till now what we have done is we have specified the variable which we want and now we will specify the variable which we will adjust so for that now under under c1 block click on this vary tab click on new now what is the adjusted variable so here so here the adjusted variable is distillate rate the lower bound we are setting it to 0.2 and the upper bound we are setting it as 0.6 So I was getting that error because the unit was inconsistent. It should be in kilomoles per second. So to change that, you can go to setup and then specifications, then change this unit set to SI. And then uh, you can enter your this 2 and 0.6 as lower and upper bound. So this is done. As you can notice that everything is complete. So we will run our simulation now let us see the stream results so the isobutane is 0.02 which is the desired value and this the flow rate is also changed which is 0.389 around 0.39 kilomoles per second the first part of this design specification is complete where we wanted isobutane as 0.02 in the distillate now we want propane as one mole percent similarly we'll set up another design specification let us do that We'll select new. We wanted it as one mole percent, which is 0.01. We'll select the component, which is propane. And in feed slash bottom streams, we'll select B1 because we want propane as one mole percent in the bottom so this is done now we will select a variable which is to be varied now go to vary go to vary tab then click on new the adjusted variable here is reflux reflux ratio so we'll enter the lower bound and upper bound for the reflux ratio so the lower bound is 1 and upper bound is 5. So this is also done. Now we will run the simulation. So the results are available. Let us see the stream results. So as you can notice that in bottoms the propane is 0.01 which is well within the desired value and the flow rate of distillate is also changed which is you can see that the final value of reflux ratio is 3.13 this is what we have guessed initially also so this is good and here also you can see that the distillate rate is 0.4 kilomoles per second which is the final result go to results summary and you can see all the 
streams and their values also you can see the profiles which is here on the top you can go to this and you can see all the profiles whatever is required like composition temperature everything so this is a composition profile of propane and isobutane similarly if you want other profiles you can click here like for temperature we can see so by far we got the desired composition in our distillation column so the next part is finding optimum feed stage in most of the distillation columns the major operating cost is reboiler energy consumption so reboiler heat input is the quantity which has to be minimized for that we will change different different feed stages and the feed stage which will give minimum reboiler heat input is the optimum feed stage now we will find out the optimum feed stage for that let us go to c1 column so currently the feed stage is 16 let us see the reboiler heat input you can go to results under c1 uh, block and you can see that the boiler heat input is 25.44 megawatts so let us vary the feed stage and we can see the lowest heat input the one which will give the lowest heat input will be the optimum feed stage so let us change the feed stage mm, let us change it to 12 and let's see what results we get Okay, there are some warnings what we can do is increase the reflex ratio to 3.6 now we can run okay let's see what reboiler heat input we are getting so this is 25.86 and condenser duty we are getting it as 22.7 so earlier it was 25.4 something this is higher than the stage 16 uh, let us change the stage again change it to 14 and let's run it now let us see the results so we are getting 25.23 which is less than the previous one and this is also 22.09 so this can be one of the candidate which is stage 14 so we varied different different feed stages and these are the corresponding reboiler heat input and condenser heat removal in megawatts so from this we can observe that speed stage 14 gives the optimum values like the least value for the reboiler heat input which is the required criteria and we can conclude that feeding on stage 14 is the optimum value. So I hope you guys like the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and stay tuned for much more interesting stuff coming up. Do follow our Instagram page. The link is in the description box below. And for more queries, you can always email us. We are happy to help you. Thank you.